this is Julia. I went to TJ Maxx and Home Goods today, and I um, got a candle for you that I hope you enjoy the sound of. Um, this candle is by Red Leaf Home. It's a wooden wick collection and the scent is called Alpine Lake. And it has a like a woody, warm, woody scent to it. So it has it's a blend of ozone, which I don't know what ozone smells like. I'm guessing like more fresh. Um, fruit, sweet violet, and woody musk. So this definitely has a musky scent. And I love, um, like a, I love vanilla, like that's my go-to scent. And I have to try really hard not to buy vanilla like everything. I'm also putting on lotion. I have um, this Times Fraser Fur Lotion that I got as a gift. And I treasure this lotion so much. And yeah, it just, it smells like Christmas. And I can't wait until Christmas. <laughs> like there's, we're not even halfway till Christmas. But I'm ready for Christmas. Okay, so I put like that much on. Okay. Um, I am, I'm ready. So I have a... <laughs> I'm sorry to bring this out so suddenly, but I have a um, fire gun thing. <laughs> so I wanted to, um, what is it, turn on the candle for the first time with you. So let's, let's try this out. Can you see? right now it used to it used to be a dollar but now it's like almost double that and I get four tacos now and I ask for a lot of sauces because I love sauces and so when I got four tacos I asked for eight sauces and they gave me like 15 <laughs> they gave me a lot so I have like all the rest of the taco sauces that I didn't finish, so maybe I can use this and it'll make really nice sounds for you. Yeah, so I use about um, one and a half taco sauces per taco. And, I mean, the Jack in the Box tacos are really good. They're not, um, I haven't had a uh, Taco Bell in a long time. And I know a lot of people like Taco Bell. And, I don't know, 
I've always had, um, I've always loved Jack in the Box tacos because when I was younger, my mom used to bring, um, she used to work like night shift. And so she used to bring like Jack in the Box tacos like on the weekends. So, and I remember they had like, um, jo Jalupas or something like that. Like it's like a taco with like a thicker outer shell. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Cause, um, I'm not like actively seeking for it. Um, but I haven't seen it at Check in the Box. So if you know what I'm talking about, please let me know because it's very nostalgic for me. I also have the lid. It says Red Leaf Home. pretty good. I don't really like um, citrusy smelling candles. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't, I mean, I like oranges and I like eating oranges. I like orange juice, but like orange scented candles and lotions and things like that. It's just not my thing. I mean, like the opposite of citrus is kind of like more warm. So I, I love like vanilla, musk, jasmine is a favorite. Um, and I also love like Honeysuckle. There's a plant called like a natal plum, and they, the flower smells so good. share with you something that I got. I got a children's book and um, I have the brown bear, brown bear, what do you see book memorized because um, my fiance and I, um, well, we're not really fiance anymore. We're kind of like, not together, but we're together. But anyway, we used to read a lot of like children's books to each other to, um, to help each other sleep. And so I would read to him some books but mostly he reads to me, um, but I sometimes read to him, and I 
have the brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? Book memorized. So I read that to him. Um, and I bought this book today at Kohl's. Kohl's has this, um, like Kohl's Cares, um, program. It says one of the ways we reward the everyday is through our commitment to healthy families. That's why 100% of the net profit from the sale of this item is given to support the health and wellness of families in our communities. Because of your continued support, we've raised more than 385 million nationwide and helped countless kids and families. And there's nothing more rewarding than that. So they usually have like the um, like children's books and it's usually like it's five dollars I've it's always been five dollars since um I bought it oh I bought a um like a Christmas version of um if you give a mouse a cookie book but I give that to my pregnant friend because um yeah she is expecting so I want her to read children's books to the baby so this one is polar bear polar bear what do you hear and it was on sale for three fifty so I was like okay well I'll we'll get it and it's a little less than the typical five dollars for children's books but where i really like to go is um thrift stores and like garage sales they're addicting and i feel like there's a lot of like treasures you have to like dig through i love i love thrift stores my goal is to own every version of Cinderella that's out there. Like, I've already, um, I think I like, like, three or four Cinderella's, and, like, after, like, the fourth one, I was like, I need it all. It's like Pokemon, I gotta catch them all which I used to play a lot of, um, but I kind of stopped. I felt like I was like, I was walking more, but I also felt like, um, like I was walking with my phone in my hand, like a little too much, so. candle smells really good. Um, they had a couple more of the same one. Um, at uh, Home Goods. So maybe I'll go back and get some more because the crackling is so quiet. And it'll be nice to have like more crackling sound in the background. So 
So every time I go to Home Goods or like Marshalls or like those kinds of stores, I have to go through the candle aisle and the mug aisle. Like, I can't get enough of those two aisles. And like, I feel like it's hard to shop because like, if there's another person in the same aisle as you, like in the, in the candle section, like it's hard to like focus <laughs> on the scents and the candle that you want and like kind of like reorganize if you, if you do that. I don't know. Sometimes I've wanted to like work at not work at Walgreens, and not Walgreens, Walmart, but like, I want to organize like the nail polish section because it's always like kind of messy or, I don't know, I think it'll just be fun, but I mean, I don't have to work there, I can just do it for fun. Like, I was at Kohl's one time and there was like a clearance section where they had like random stuff um, for parties like there was like um, I think it was like a shark like a shark themed party so they had like shark themed balloons and like table mats and cups and stuff like that, and napkins and like I kind of like put those together and then I put like the other um, themed party goods together so that like it'll be easier for me and for other people. see right there <laughs> is um, an intercom. I mean, this house is built in 1989, so it's 33 years old. And there is one of these intercoms in every room. And um, in the kitchen, there's a main like radio and main intercom that um, is connected to all four rooms. And um, my mom used to like talk into the intercom and like tell my brother to wake up and stuff. But mine was always off because I get startled easily and so, um, and it makes like a static noise when you start, when someone else starts to talk into it. So that like always scared me. I didn't do my hair today, um, but I wanted to give a shout out to this like product. It comes in a pack of like three um, at Target, and it's the original one. The I forgot the name, but it's it's like all I want to use now um because I have like here let me take it out and I have a drawer full of like not the drawer but like a little um, oops sorry I have a little like container full of like my hair products 
I got this like clip that I love. Like I found this at um at a Korean like it was in a um like a shopping mall, a Korean shopping mall in Koreatown in Los Angeles. And they had a little stand and they had like little cute like hair stuff. I mean I also found this one, which is really cute. I have this, which I do not recommend. Like, I wish I could throw this away. I mean, maybe I should just throw this away. Like, it's so, like, painful when hair gets stuck in, like, the little crevices. And hair does get stuck, because, like... Look how big that gap is, you know? It's just, it's Conair brand. Don't get it from Target. Um, sorry, there was a strand of hair. Yeah, I used to use like these kinds of like, um, hair ties, but like, I just don't. I, like, I have to tie my hair and like, around like three times like you know like up to like one two three so and this one i just have to do it like twice and that's it and um if you want to like i know it stretches a little bit but like if you wanted to go back to its natural um shape then all you have to do is put it in a glass of hot water and then it just like shrinks to its normal original shape so that that's really cool I'm just playing with this now I have a lot of bobby pins I feel like it's one of those things that you just lose you know so it's like nice to keep it like all in one area. Okay, so don't get this. I also have like a mask. Um, what is this called? Like a necklace that holds the mask, you know? But I don't use, I don't use that one. So, yeah. Okay, going back to the wood. I love the sound of wood. By the way, my, um, one of my favorite ASMR artists, she's not that popular, um, but she has like really unique taste and I love the way her, her mouth sounds when she talks, like she has, I don't know, I, I just love it. Um, her ASMR name is Soul Repose, and she has a new video up. And she hadn't had a video up in over in a year, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what she has been up to. Um, she has like really cool videos of um. I don't, I don't think she's Italian, but like she's trying to learn Italian. She also has like, um, like making gnocchi together videos and, um, and how to enjoy a cigar and like how to string a tennis racket. Like it's just, she has a video on like t trying different Italian um, snacks. Um, maybe I'll do one for, like, Korean snacks. Um, so 
yeah, she has like, oh, and she has like really good, uh, like vintage bag videos. So nice. So nice. I love vintage stuff. Like, when I lived in, um, Champagne, Illinois. Um, one of the good things about that is um, there's a lot of like thrift stores and um, a lot of estate sales. Like I remember my friend, I have a close friend named Julia. I mean, we thought about like creating like. Like a Julia and Julia like vlog, cooking vlog, <laughs> because we both like to cook and like we're very like homey and domestic and we like that kind of stuff. But she and her husband and I used to um, go thrift shopping like every Saturday, like estate sale shopping, and it was like it was so fun. Even though it was like the last year of my program and I knew I was gonna move, it was still nice to like go and like see what's out there and I don't know, it's just, it was really fun. And I really enjoyed that, enjoyed that. But they also have like a lot of like thrift stores there that aren't crowded, like, um, like everything in LA is like crowded. <laughs> she like stuff like that maybe or it's very far like the nice thing about champagne was that like everything was close so you can run like five to ten errands in a day on your day off but in LA like you can go to Costco and wait like 30 minutes for gas and then that's it <laughs> So that's like the perks of champagne, I guess. I also have a special treat, not a treat, but I have something here, which is my brush. I just wanted to brush you to sleep. Go to bed. Go. Hard to hear, so maybe, 
maybe on the sauces, but I don't want to get my your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everything is going to be okay. I'm not leaving. I'll be right here when you wake up. I'm not leaving. I'll be here when you wake up. Go to sleep. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm not leaving. And I'm staying right next to you. And I'll be here in the morning when you wake up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go to sleep right after you fall asleep. See you tomorrow morning when you wake up.